Plastic Model Builders, hello. This is your host, Ari Stone. I am going to be building a diorama here. Here is my picture that I've got that I created of what I want my diorama to look like. Isn't it pretty? I made that look pretty for some model making madness. Anyhow, this is going to be a forest and a little river creek diorama. I've got my board here, which is polystyrene. It's the pink stuff. Can buy it at a box store. This is what I use. This is not the prettiest diorama in the world. By the way, use a mask for me cutting stuff out. As you can see, I laid out my pattern here. I've got my knife. I'm going to cut out my little square right here. This is where I intend the river to be. Why is the river kind of cut off? Because we are going to put a rock formation behind it and the river will come down the rock formation and flow nice and smooth. I am cutting out the square right here i made little squares out of this as you can see this is how i did it i don't know how others do it but it worked for me and i just slowly pick away at the squares and it worked out perfectly for me do this long enough and you will have a uh, clean square that you can lay your base down on for this particular model here's a close-up view so you can see I've got some tweezers and you could just pop these squares out if you make them small enough just like that now it is a little rigidy, of course, that's due to the depth of the knife, but just kind of test your fit of your part that's going down so you know how much deeper to make it. I've got a Sharpie here. It's just a magic marker pressing it down so I can cut away a little bit more. I figured I'd show you that so you see how to do it if you run into issues. I believe that will do it. And you can see it kind of sits in there nicely. Cut out the rest of my base because I wanted something firm to work on just go with your knife and it should snap out with a quick little adjustment I didn't bother sanding the edges because this is my first one I'm not too worried about making everything look great so I did the same thing kind of for the river that I did with the base except I made big squares and that didn't work out so it's best to leave little squares yes this is some real wood that I am going to use here that I got off of a tree and it looks very good to scale for what I'm going to be doing. I've got my placement down. So this is going to be the rock formation behind it. I did the best I could with the knowledge of what I have and how I think rocks should look. I could do it better. So I'm gonna have two layers here, a top and a bottom piece. Kind of stagger them a little bit, just like so. And you see that is how everything's going to look. We've got everything placed where we need it. And we will start cutting stuff out for the little top of the river, which is just going to sit on top of the rock bed. I did not make any trees for this because I felt that was just a little too hard other than what I have there. So I've got some glue that I'm using just regular PVA glue, the clear kind. We're going to glue this base down right here. Both of these, one will go on top of the other. You got that piece, and then make sure you put this on right. You always want to make sure your river is on top, of course, because that's where mine is. You see, it just lines up how I built it. It's great. Model making madness, make it all look pretty. I am going to use some silicone caulk, and that is to apply the base. So it stays there are plenty of ways to do this this is how i did mine feel free to do yours however you think you can make it stick you see how the bottom of that looks press it down let it dry and now we're going to pour some quick cast it's not my preferred method to use but it worked i made mine a little thin at first you see it's getting all over the place that's okay this was my first diorama certainly a learning experience by the way, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like to my channel as well. We do premieres every other Saturday. I am starting to go make videos every Saturday, and we will try to post timely on that. So come check out every Saturday when we make a video. And there's my little screwdriver end that I'm using to make these rock formations with. You see the plaster is starting to harden up there, which makes it easier to work with. And I will smooth it out a little bit putting some lines in here because in my mind some rock formations that I've seen enough do have lines in them but they're a little too predominant but I just left it as it is. I just wanted something nice to look at. So I am black basing this entire thing. Several coats of it. 
See, it really gets dark with each coat. The more black it gets, the more black it gets. We are going to add various shades and colors to it. We are now going with a lighter color of grayish white, possibly green. I don't remember exactly what I had in there, but you can see it kind of showing through the black. It, you just work it in slow patterns and you can see the color kind of fading in with the black color there. That way it looks more realistic. It gives it some depth to it as well. Then I use some different greens, a little bit of white tones in there, spray all along the sea, just wherever you want. It doesn't have to completely cover it. See, I've got a little drop there. It's okay. It'll go away with paint. I made the rock formations different colors. At first, I did them a little bit of a brown. They were a little too dark for me, so I lightened them up a little bit. And if you watch with me, you will see how it gets lighter and lighter. And eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to pour some acrylic resin. We will make a river. We are going to make the waterfall that comes with this. As well, we put in a little path and we put some moss on this project. Now I'm putting a little bit of green onto the tree to make it look a little bit more realistic and old that it's fallen down. We're going to put that into the model later with some wire, so keep watching so you can see that. So this is the edge of the riverbank. I'm trying to highlight it and make it stand out a little bit because you know edges of riverbanks always have a little bit of sand on them, somewhere some rocks. A lot of this stuff is going to get covered up by some moss that I put on here that I have. I use super glue with it to kind of melt it a little bit and make it more not as puffy. It does smoke. Don't inhale those fumes when you do it or wear a respirator, one of the two. And you see I've got just white color here that I'm trying to make like little drips appear. Doing the same thing in the river. Just little drops, little water. Just little subtle hints of stuff to bring some realism to this. It doesn't mean you're always going to clearly see them, but this is how I do it. When we do make this river, we're going to put ripples in it using PVA glue. Uh, it's just clear glue, and I thin it down quite a bit. i will let it set up, and then you can create those ripples. And I did that multiple times until I got the ripple layer that I wanted and the effect that I wanted. So you can see I'm just doing the various colors on this rock formation. You can see it really starting to come out and it looks great. I'm really happy with it at this point. You got the edge where it meets up with the base right there. I'm trying to fill in a little bit of that crack that I made just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now I realize it's not the best rock formation in the world, but remember it is my first time. You see here I'm painting in the path that I'm going to make. I also put some sand down on there so keep watching so you can see me do that. It will be a little bit thicker grain sand and I was okay with that. I was just trying to make something look nice for this display. Now this is one way not to pour resin. I simply put the tape on there thinking the resin would be thick enough and it would not go behind this. That is incorrect. So you, I've got my resin. This is what it looks like when you first start stirring it. This is what it looks like when you're stirring it for a while. And then this is what it finally looks like. No swirls in there, it's clear. Pour the resin in. It's best to seal this in with some caulk and you also put some tape on the back. Because you see how it leaks out. I lost a lot of resin doing that. Got myself some small little rocks. I put those inside of here, just like this. Then pour a little bit more resin to fill it up. And then we are going to use some glue and stuff like that. So you see, where that top, basically all the resin came right out of it. That's my fault, it went down from the waterfall. So this time I made sure I did it right. I put the caulk in there, let that harden. And then this is what it does, it will stay nicely and we have a top. I did lose some paint there and some plaster. That's okay, we can do some magic tricks to make it go away. That's the joy of this. And you can see scraping away as that resin is already hardened now. So now we just have some clear resin. Now this is, we are going to make the effect of moving water. I've got PVA glue. I figured why not try it? I'm sure there's other things you can use. I spread it around. You have to let it start setting up and as it starts setting up, you can start creating the ripples and the different layers in there. And you see that's the top river. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's kind of got some movement to it. This is a piece of saran wrap plastic wrap that I laid out. I coated it with glue to give it some stiffness. Then I painted it with some PVA to 
give it more stiffness, then I painted some white lines onto it. So it is a little curly, as you can see. It did turn out good. And I just glue it down with my PVA glue that you see there. It is clear, so it's going to dry clear as well. And that's how I held it in place. Put it in, use my little stick that I got just to hold it down. We're also going to coat the top and the bottom. So this is more caulking that I'm using for my caulk gun. It's a big caulk gun. Got a little carried away with it, but this is going to create kind of like a clear foam at the bottom because this will dry a little on the clear side. So you see how well this is actually turning out. Very happy with it so far. Putting little specks on there all throughout this. Now we are sealing in the top too, just to make sure it stays. So I hope you like this so far as to what I am doing and how I am creating this because this was a great diorama and a great learning experience. You see as this glue is setting up, I just kind of edge it out a little bit and we make it look pretty with Model Making Madness. I've got some ripples going on in here and there they are. I slowly fill the ripples with this clear glue. I put the glue on, I let it set, put a little more on, let it set and that's what it looks like. Now you can also see that I am putting on the glue right here on the side. And what that does, that is for the sand that you see here. It is a light coat. And this is how I put it on. Just have my little tray, push it down in there. I'm going to put some moss right here on the base. We're going to go around the river with it. We're going to paint a little bit of green as well. You can see how well it's turning out. Just little patches of grass. I'm going to put some right there along the edge because you know I mean moss will grow in certain spots and that's where I'd like to put mine. Just be creative with it. As I said I did put some uh, super glue on this. Cryolonic jonic acid. I'm not even going to try and say it. Not even really acid, or is it? I don't know, but you get the point. Uh, so here's the green, free algae-ish that you see that forms along river basins. Slippery stuff if you've ever been on rocks and rivers. Very slippery. Don't hurt your head because you might slip. Get some right on that rock. We are going to place this down, get our placement. You see we have the ATST there from Star Wars drilling myself a hole. I've got some wire. So remember we have to go through the base on this. So once I have this wire down in here, I'm going to place this in with the super glue to hold it in. And I will gently put this right here to leave a little mark so I know where to drill my hole. I will do this with two pieces. Put a little bit of glue in there. You see it's very long. Fits perfectly into the diorama, just like that. Doing the same thing with the other piece of wood. Secure this, glue it down, whatever you have to do. And here are some photos of the finished model and diorama. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe, comment, and like on this. Watch all this. And as always, until next time, see ya.